Time to eat. It's time to eat some eggs because today is the today is the execute limited research yeah event and we are here in the kitchen guys <laughs> yeah to cook some eggs for you guys yeah no I'm just kidding we're not gonna cook some <laughs> eggs we got no eggs with us yeah here in real life no eggs in the fridge also but yes it is the execute limited research event and we are gonna. Do some stuff together, maybe cook some eggs to turn them into some coconut trees, alright? So <laughs> hi, hi to all of you guys! Hi guys! Alright, so I'm gonna put you guys here, and like I said, seriously, we are in the kitchen. This is the kitchen of our apartment, of the accommodation of where we are staying at, and uh, yeah, we actually cooked last night to just spend time here in the apartment, wanted to chill, and um, we really have no eggs, but we have some um, other stuff over here, including uh, noodles and whatsoever, alright? So let's go ahead and bring my screen up, and it is indeed right now at 1.04 p.m. which means the execute limited research event is still ongoing all right it is ending in 55 minutes because it started at 11 a.m. all the way to 2 p.m. but we actually just woke up one hour ago <laughs> reason being is because we ain't too interested in this event I personally am not interested in this event at all other than one specific thing that I would like to do in this event so if you read the events details right it says event team wild pokemon event team field research execute can evolve into alolan executor mm -hmm, that is something really interesting and we evolve it into the alolan executor it will know draco meteor and it's two times catch xp so um are you excited for this uh, event <laughs> so she says she's so so. Yeah. Alright, not really super duper excited. Yeah. No, not like a community day, like market community day, etc. Mm -hmm. But we're still gonna do some stuff with um, whatever we can do. And also, there are the few researches that we can actually complete to um, um, get more execute. So, the first one is to evolve two grass type Pokemon. The next two I've already completed, which, uh, you know, I got them from spinning the Pokestops thanks to my character, like drifting around. You guys can see mm -hmm. eggs are hatching also, right? See? Wow. We cook some eggs, they're ready to hatch, and let's see. Whoa! Oh my god! It's a shiny yeah, Pichu! Alright, yeah. well, if it's 270, that'll be amazing. Um, let's see if it's uh, gonna get us more. More Jigglypuff, man. More Igglybuff, man. Alright, we got a Chingling. And the last one is going to be a Togepi. See, interestingly enough, the animation for the Flower Crown doesn't appear, right? But if you tap on it, the Flower Crown will be there. So, I'm not too sure if it's a glitch or whatsoever, but it's nothing too big of a deal. But, oh my god, check out this, the CP wow. of this. 267, that is 3 CP away from the handle, so this should be like 93% or 96%. Wow. It, it is a 96%. Yeah. Alright, 15, some 14, 14. Eggs. Yeah, <laughs> some lucky there. eggs. Alright. And also, um, let's go ahead to uh, show you guys some of the stuff that I've gotten in the last few days. First of all, we're going to type a uh, handle. Alright, the only handle that I got, uh, technically that's worth talking about, is this. A handle popular that I got from her, a trade. Alright, uh, she wants that, but yeah. I ran out of populars to trade to her already, but I'll try and get more, okay? Anyway, I got a few uh, purified uh, Pokemon, including an uh, Electrode and also Skunk Tank. This is my first ever handle Skunk Tank. I still have two uh, Stunkies, but I did not evolve them at all. Whereas I uh, hatched myself another handle. Wilmer, not very interested in that. I think that's my like number ninth handle hatched Wilmer already. Mm. Yeah, no joke, eh? All right, so um, this one is the one that I evolved uh, during our um duo against the Tapu Bulu. I finally maxed it out and changed oh, yeah. their moves also to the perfect move set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, anything else talk uh, worth talking about? Not really. All right, so we're gonna see our eggs over here. We are, we still have a lot of eggs uh, to actually get, which uh, like I said, see my character is drifting around. We are supposed to be like here. Like in between these two pocket stops, but apparently like I'm going around here and there. It's really really drifty, but I guess it's a good thing, but also a bad thing, especially if you drop Leos at the pocket stops that you actually want to be at. Alright, so um, let's check out the uh, limited research uh, over here, like I said. Alright, okay, in order to check out the limited research details, we're just going to check out a specific website, Leak Duck, and I'll do the specific things with you guys later on also. Alright, so under Leak Duck, you guys can see that these are the tasks that we technically can do to get extra executes, uh, which basically uh, you use three berries to help catch Pokemon, catch three grass type Pokemon, and so on and so forth. I will not read through everything because by the time you guys are watching this video, most of for, uh, for you guys, a lot of the uh, the events probably ended for you guys already. So um, the thing is, uh, let's go ahead to claim some of the rewards over here. First one is going to be this. 
She just came her execute is not shiny. Yeah. Mine's also not shiny, but we're gonna fast catch it. Alright, so um, shiny execute has been out for quite a while. Right? I remember the first time when it first came out, uh, it was quite difficult to get. Eventually, over time, because there were some events that uh, execute do spawn quite regularly, um, it's quite easy to actually get the shiny eventually. And if we were to type shiny and execute, right, can, guys can see I have a lot of shiny execute and executor. Alright, I've transferred quite a handful already, so I don't really keep every single one of them. Alright, so we're going to evolve two of the grass type uh, Pokemon and two specific grass type Pokemon that we're going to evolve are the ones that I want to show you guys to evolve. Alright, but before we do that though, remember to eat the eggs. Also, <laughs> you can eat XP and drink Stardust. You guys uh, want to check out this merch, link in the description down below. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the Execute though. Actually, I've already labeled them to evolve them. Alright, to get the Draco Meteor. So it's over here under Evolve, you're gonna type X. And I have four to actually evolve with you guys. So the reason why I wanna evolve all of this because uh, they are pretty good for PvP. I wouldn't say very, very meta. They are still ranked like 300 something according to PvP Poke in the Great League and Ultra League. But I'm still gonna get them because this is the only Pokemon in the game that after you do the evolution, it will be a Dragon and Grass typing Pokemon for now. Alright, so we can evolve into Alolan Executor. You can't even evolve it into the regular Kanto Executor right now, you see? Have you evolved yours? Not yet. Okay, she's, she, I mean, she's fighting an Arlo right now. Mm -hmm. So she's probably going to get another Shadow uh, exec yeah. uh, Execute. And, uh, you know, Anne, uh, my friend back home in Singapore, actually has herself a Hando Shadow Execute. Um, Shadow Execute, and she actually evolved it. So cool, man. Anyway, we're going to evolve this right now. Um, just to make sure also, you have to remove frustration on your Shadow Execute to actually evolve to get the exclusive move, which I'm showing you guys over here. All of them do not have frustration. If it has frustration, and even if you unlock a second move on it, giving it, you know, like three moves, second charge move basically, and you evolve it, it will not have the exclusive move or community day move at all. Frustration has to be removed in order to actually get the community day or exclusive move. So that's the frustrating thing about frustration, <laughs> and it really sucks. So anyway, let's go ahead to evolve this right now into my Hando Executor, Alolan Executor actually. And my Candy XL, you guys can see, is uh, quite okay right now. It's at 600-ish. I've already powered up two Execute and uh, Executor, actually one each. To level 50 already, wow, this is quite interesting. First time seeing an Alolan Executor on the evolution screen. You know, this is the only time that you can see it during this 3 hours event. There's no other chance to see it already. Alright, I'm going to max it out to level 50 also. Okay, um, would I have enough Candy XL though? Uh, I mean, I can always get more. I can always uh, convert or whatsoever. It's totally fine. So we're going to power this. Execute S, <laughs> Execute S, alright, when I put S on the back of the name, it is a, it is a Hando, alright, so we're going to change the name right now to Executor, we're going to put an S over there, and it's a Hando level 50, uh, Alolan, no, Alolan, yeah, Alolan Executor now, Alolan, Kento, Kento, Alolan, too many regions in my head, yep, so it has the move uh, Draco Meteor, alright, we're going to do the evolutions for the other few uh, executors. So another thing to note though, if you actually do want to use it in the um, Great League, Ultra League or Master League, the moves that you want to use is Dragon Tail, Seed Bomb and also Draco Meteor. It actually has the very very fast and high energy generating fast move. Bullet Seed, however, is not really recommended. Oh my god, this is quite sick man. Look at the eyes! Oh my god, that's quite sick. I must say, alright, we're gonna have to power it up to level 50, but clearly right now I'm short of Candy XL. I mean, I can actually convert to get a bit more and even uh, later transfer away some uh, um, of the executes that I'm gonna catch and whatsoever along the way. So, I'm not gonna trade to get guaranteed Candy XL for it because uh, I do not want. Actually, you know what? Let's just, just do it right now. Let's just, let's just YOLO, YOLO it right now. You know, I'm gonna get 40, uh, 34, 34. I just need 30, 34 candies. Alright, converting that, and we're gonna power it up to level 50 right now since I wanna do it with you guys. Um, why am I doing it? I don't know, I just wanna burn my startups. My startups is almost at 10 million, which is very low. It's the lowest that I had in a very long time, probably in 5 years. Alright, so it has Draco Meteor and Dragon Tail. Alright, that's for Master League. This is a 98% uh, Alolan Executor. So, really, this event to me is the, the this is the most important thing to do, which is to evolve to get Alolan Executor. All right, and there's one more thing that uh, if you guys actually have access to, which is a Shining Shadow Execute, which I did not manage to get myself from battling Arlo and battling some of the Team Rocket Grunts in the last few days. Yes, 
you can actually get a shiny shadow execute from battling a team rocket grunt i guess it's it it might be a glitch it might be deliberate uh, on my index part but it's quite cool that we can actually do that all right uh, i'm not gonna power this one i'm gonna label as up so that i can uh, do do it um over time all right so um we're gonna keep that for uh, some of the few research tasks that I'll get to actually um, power them up. Um, this one also I'm going to label it as up and uh, remove that but we're going to evolve this also to get the exclusive move Draco Meteor. Alright and um, we'll see how man uh, how this uh, Pokemon performs and like I said it's a very unique typing. It's a grass and dragon typing. It's the only Pokemon with that typing alone. Alright now she's evolving hers. She's evolving her Hando Execute. Alright which, uh, yeah, she's done. The, she's gonna do the evolution right now. So, yeah, we are done, but we're gonna change the moveset, change the fast move to drag Dragon Tail. Okay, so we're gonna go back to my main storage itself, no longer looking at the text, execute. Uh huh, I'm gonna, she's gonna execute me too. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so um, quite interesting enough though. I, I, I didn't notice this. Check this out. Executor, right? Mm -hmm. The Kento one is actually CP3408. Oh. Hundo level 50 yeah. but the Alolan is actually one CP lower mm. that is quite interesting wow okay I mean the stats might be different by a bit and then it just adds up to that amount but uh, yeah these are all my executors for now I mean I've only powered one Kanto executor to level 50 the other ones I'm keeping them as level 40 because to be honest Executor or Alolan Executor isn't too useful for raids or whatever purpose Even if you talk about using Shadow Executor for raids purpose Yes, it's quite good I think it's ranked quite highly up there But it still loses to like Shadow, Venusaur, etc So hence, especially in the future when Shadow Rosa raid is out This will be like super duper low in the ranking uh, for against raid bosses So um, yep, this is the Execute that I powered up to level 50 or so that I actually do use in the Great Lake at times for fun Alright, it's very very tanky And yeah, I think uh, that is all that we have to show to you guys in this video man Because um, there ain't anything else that we would like to show you guys Because of this event, seriously, Execute has been a very old Pokemon And it has been out for a very long time So I don't foresee a lot of people being interested in it too much But I mean, the interesting thing is that yes, we can evolve the execute into Alolan Executor which like I said is the first of its kind and very interesting and I guess we are done with the event already because that's the only thing that I really want to do which is to evolve to get the Draco Meteor whether is it useful or not um, who knows maybe for a specific cup for Great League or the Ultra League it might be really really good so it's worth getting such an exclusive Pokemon like this especially when this is a Pokemon that can only evolve during an event like this alright so um you are done? Yeah, she's done. She she yeah, just evolved her last she just yeah. evolved her last executor. Yeah. So it's that's like done. It's a ninety-eight percent. Are you gonna evolve more? No, I'm good. Okay. And we evolved two. So we are done. Three, three. We are done. We can yeah. go and look for coconut juice now. <laughs> yeah. From eggs turn into coconut, from coconut turn into mm. How does that make sense? <laughs> well, Pokemon doesn't make sense at all. You you see a fish turning into an octopus also. I'm referring to Raymond right turning into octillery. So yeah, yep, some things just does just doesn't make sense. I don't make sense too. <laughs> Alright, so uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did definitely first leave a like guys. Yeah, and also to subscribe. <laughs> Wow, well trained, man. <laughs> yep. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. All right. Goodbye. 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 Eat bye XP bye. drink stardust.